एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Um, can I just ask your feelings, having started the series so well, to end up losing it? And what do you think the big difference was in the end? Was it just the top order batting? Yeah, we were obviously disappointed to lose the disappointed to lose the series. Um, yeah, we, we had quite a few positives in the series. Just probably um, a few more conversions um, from the stats that we got would have done us a lot better. Um, you know, I felt the bullets really tried. Particularly in Manchester, where the conditions were were pretty tough at times, but um, yeah, we did also didn't feel as well as we probably could, uh, and those things that we can definitely control. Uh, you mentioned in the presentation, sort of coming up to coming back up to Manchester and being a bit worn out mentally. Um, in the first test, that sort of seemed as though coming over here as early as you did was a real positive and helped you hit the ground running. D- did we maybe see the other side of that in this test? Um. <laughs> it's it's hard to say really, man. Um, yeah, we've been kept indoors for the last two months. Um, yeah, the guys haven't seen <laughs> a bit of relay for a bit. Um, but yeah, outside that, it's, it's tough to to constantly get up. You know, you hear you, you open your, your curtains and you just see the cricket ground. You're not hopping on the bus as you normally would do, and at least see you know some kind of pedestrian or or, or anyone outside of that. But Yeah, it has been challenging mentally. I think a lot of our guys have felt it, you know. And, and coming closer to home, obviously, probably gets a little bit more difficult. But more or less, I think the guys have done outstandingly well in terms of keeping their their um, focus. You know, the last Test match, uh, obviously, we were probably outplayed. But I think the Test series, we've had a lot of positives in this Test series. You know, whether it be wickets, um, runs. Um, And yeah, I think generally as a group, we've shown signs of improvement as well. Jason, obviously, uh, main main focus is on the guys who are here with you. But in terms of the difference between the two teams, do you think if there was another series between the teams and you had Petmeyer and Bravo and Paul, would that give you as a captain just one or two more options to maybe rotate the team around and keep fresh? No, you know I was. Very happy with the team that we've got here. Fifteen players that we brought over here is part of our test team. I'm happy with. Um, there's no guarantee that Bravo, Hetmeyer, or Paul would have played. Um, you know, the way we've gone as a batting unit, particularly, we haven't had um, the consistency that we were looking for. Uh, if you look at the two, three, three players that you called, just not two of them are batsmen, so yeah, there's no guarantee. Um, Akeem or Paul has pr- pretty much been a backup to, towards what we've had here so far. So, look. I think the, the squad we've got here was, was the squad to do it. You know, I'm happy the guys came. I'm really happy the work they put in prior to the tour. And uh, just unfortunately, the way it has finished. But more or less, you know, there's still lots of positives to give in this group. Um, two bowlers have had big landmarks during this series, uh, Kemar Roach and Stuart Broad. Uh, just wanted to get your perspective on those two. Outstanding. Um, I'll start with Kemar. 200 wickets and... You know, definitely in the top 10 West Indies fast bowlers of all time in terms of his, um, his stats. And you just see the effort he puts on the cricket field. Uh, again, I can't think of any time I've ever, ever called on Kimari. He has said no or he's not up for it. You know, he always keeps running in and, and give, giving it a massive effort. You know, and it's not no doubt or, or, or no surprise that Kimari has produced what he has so far. Uh, to Stuart Broad, you know, hardest congratulations to Brody. Um, you know, I kind of felt for him, you know, when he was left out in the first Test match, you know, because uh, it was a massive shock to me, because we all know the calibre of bowler he, he is, you know, to play 140 Test matches and get 500 wickets at 28 apiece, striking out, I think, 56 or 57, somewhere around there. It's kind of, it's kind of strange you would leave him out, you know, particularly in these conditions where he's born and bred. Um, so I just want to really personally congratulate Stuart. Um, he's had a fantastic career. So far, and to take 500 wickets in any cricket, let alone the highest cricket in Test cricket, you know, is an is an excellent achievement. Um, if this series has turned out differently, West Indies had the opportunity to move up to I think fifth or sixth in the ICC Test team rankings, not the World Tra- Test Championship table. Um, you had said last year that um, you believe the team could finish in the top half of the World Test Championship table. Um, how disappointed are you guys with the series result? 
And do you believe you guys can still um, move up the rankings in the test team rankings and also the World Test Championship team? Yeah, we're disappointed with the results, but I still stick to what I've said before. I still think this team has got what it takes to, to at least be mid-tier um, in the World Test Championship and obviously move up the rankings. And we've seen it, you know, we've seen glimpses of it throughout this entire series. We've seen glimpses of it in the last series against Afghanistan, the previous series before that against, uh, I think it was India and England. Um, the difficulty with us, I guess, is that we've only played two series so far in the World Test Championship, um, which would have been India and now this one uh, against England. So we've still, we still got lots of, of series pending to play. Uh, hopefully we can get them, get them in. But I think more or less, um, yeah, we're not down, we're not out. We've got lots we get to play. You know, I think England probably played maybe two or three series more than us. Um, India, the same thing. And we've only played two series so far. So still got a lot of series left to be played. Um, our next series was meant to be South Africa, but uh, personally, probably don't think that's going to come off this year particularly. So we'll wait and see when our next um, series after that is meant to be. Maybe perhaps New Zealand at the end of the year if things, things could change and look up. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.